Hey loves, welcome back to another tutorial. So today's video we're going to be learning how to sew this beautiful satin robe. If you're interested in this video, please keep on watching and let's get started. Please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, kindly subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications. So for this fabric, I'm using two and a half yards and I'm using Duchess fabric. You can also get a good silk fabric and you're good to go. So I folded my fabric into two, as you can see, and then I'll go ahead and start. So I'm ruling my starting line now. And then I'll start taking my measurements. So after marking my starting line, I'm going to go ahead and mark my shoulder measurements. For this particular tutorial, we're going to add 5 inches to our shoulder measurements. If your shoulder measurement is 16 inches, when you divide it by 2, add extra 5 inches. Because we want the shoulder to be broad. Because this is a robe. I'll attach a picture so you can see what I'm saying. So I'll mark my shoulder measurements. And then I'll go ahead and mark 3 inches for my neck width. And we are cutting the back first. So I'm going to mark 1.5 inches for the back length neckline so i'll go ahead and connect so i'll come down by my bust point of 10 inches and i'll also come down by my waist point of 16 inches i'll mark after that i'll go to my full length and mark and then i'm going to connect the lines together so now i'm going to come down by one inches for my shoulder slope so i'll mark one inches for my slope and then i'll connect So for my armhole depth, I'm going to come down by my bust point measurement, which is 10 inches. So I'm just going to mark, because this rope is going to be free. We don't need to be too tight. That's why we don't use our chest line measurement. So after that, I'm going to measure the middle point, and then I'll mark. After getting the middle point, I'll go in by half inches, and then I'll connect a curve. So for my curve, I am going to use my curve ruler to make a nice curve. You can use your free hand if that's what you want. Just make sure that your curve is looking cute. So after that, the next thing to do is to start taking our measurements. So for this measurement, I'm using the highest body measurement, which is my hip measurement. So on my waistline, I'm going to mark my hip measurement divided by 4 plus extra two inches allowance two inches for ease and one inches for sewing allowance so we are adding a total of three inches two inches for ease and one inch for sewing allowance because this robe is supposed to be a bit free so you can just use the highest body measurements that you have it can be your bust measurement can be your waist measurement but in my case mine is my hip measurement so after that i'm going to go ahead and connect all the way to the full length of the dress After that, I'll go ahead and cut out. So now we're going to go ahead and cut the front piece because this is the back piece that we cut. So I'm going to place the back piece on the front fabric, for the fabric I'm going to use for the front. Then on the waistline, I'm going to come out by 1.5 inches. So on the waistline, you come out by 1.5 inches and then you rule a straight line across. So after that, I'm going to slant from that waistline to the neckline. For the front, I'm going to mark the neckline. And then I'm going to go ahead and slant it. Just like you see me doing. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and cut everything out. So now we are done. We have both the front and the back. But the front is going to be in two places because we are going to be wrapping it around each other. So the next thing for us to do now is to cut out our sleeve. And before that, we are going to measure around our armhole. Yeah, we are going to measure around our armhole just like you see me doing so that we will know how to cut out the sleeve. And I measured out 13 inches. So now we are going to take our sleeve measurements. For the full length of this sleeve, we are going to mark 14 inches because we are still going to add extra 2 inches band to this sleeve. So we are going to mark 14 inches. 
I also added the extra half inch for the journey allowance. So now I'm going to measure the width of the sleeve and I want it to be very, very wide. So I'm using 12 inches. I want it to be very bogus. I'm using 12 inches plus extra 1 inches allowance. So I'm basically making use of the whole fabric. So the next thing is to create the curve. So I'm going to mark the 13 inches that we marked earlier from our armhole. So I'm going to mark 13 inches and then I'm going to connect a curve. I don't want the curve to be too deep. So I'm just going to connect a curve and then connect it all the way. And then I'll go ahead and cut out. So now I'm going to arrange my fabric right sides facing each other. And then I'll go over to my sewing machine and secure it. I'm going to join both shoulders together. So I am done joining the shoulders together as you can see. And I've also went ahead to join my sleeves as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is to measure around the front because we are also going to add a band to the front. So I'm using my tape to measure around and whatever we have, we are going to cut out our, our band with the measurements. So I'm also going to measure around my sleeve to know the amount of band I will cut out. So I'll go ahead and measure it out. So I've gone ahead to cut out my band for both the sleeves and the front piece. So I'm just going to align them together and then I'll go ahead and pin it. So I'm going to pin it all the way to the sleeve so that it will be easier for me to sew. So once I'm done with that, I'll go to the front piece and then I'm going to pin it all the way around. I'm going to find the middle point of the band and then I'm going to attach it to the middle point of the back neckline. And then I'll go ahead and pin it all the way around. So we are done pinning. The next step is to go and sew everything together so it will look nice. I'm also going to join the sides with the sewing allowance that we took earlier. So I am done joining everything together and I've also cut out the belt I'll be using to wrap it around my waist. As you can see, everything is looking so pretty. I've also ironed it out and it is looking so pretty. This is a very easy tutorial. And this robe is very, very beautiful. You can use it to sleep. You can use it to stay at home. It's very, very comfy. So guys, we are coming to the end of this tutorial. If you've not subscribed to our channel, kindly subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. See you in my next video. Bye.